In this video, we'll be taking a look at three NHL games happening on March 21, 2022. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets. As we provide these videos on a daily basis, I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three NHL games. After fully watching this video, one more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer anywhere from 2 betting picks a day up to 10 betting picks a day and much more. Now let's get started. Vegas Golden Knights vs. Minnesota Wild The Vegas Golden Knights face the Minnesota Wild with both teams looking to improve in the Western Conference. The Golden Knights have won 34 of their 64 games and have won back-to-back -back games while the Wild have won 36 of their 60 games and have also won two consecutive games. The Golden Knights are looking to improve in the Pacific Division while the Wild hope to make up ground in the Central Division and the upcoming game should be a great one as a result. Minnesota has the edge on offense in this matchup. The Wild ranked third in goals per game and 12th in shots per game. Tiro Kaprizov leads the team with 76 points and he is top 10 in points in the league. Matt Sakerlo has one point or more in eight out of the last 10 games. The Knights rank 14th in goals per game and 8th in shots per game. Vegas has struggled on the road lately, going 0-5 in their last five road games. Minnesota has been good at home this season, with a home record of 19-7-1. The Vegas Golden Knights are riding the struggle bus as of late, and they've been at their worst on the road. Vegas is still worth a look in the underdog role, but it's hard to side with this team on the road against a wonderful wild side. The Minnesota Wild have been terrific in the favorite role this season, and they've been great at home. This line could be a bit steeper, so the Minnesota Wild money line is our full game side pick. In Vegas 64 games, the over has hit in over half of their games, going 35 to 26 to 3. So far, taking the over when the Golden Knights are playing away from home has been a good bet with an over under record of 16 to 13 to 1. On the season, 59% of Vegas's games have gone for at least 6 goals or more with 52% of the scoring coming from the Golden Knights. In Minnesota's 60 games, the over has hit in over half of their games, going 37-21-2. So far, taking the over when the Wild are playing at home has been a good bet with an over-under record of 20-6-1. On the season, 67% of Minnesota's games have gone for at least 6 goals or more with 54% of the scoring coming from the Wild. Both teams have been led by their offenses and the upcoming game should reflect that with both forward units stepping up and finding the back of the net throughout the game against two struggling defenses. The Golden Knights, who have scored 10 goals in their last two games, should create plenty of scoring chances against a Wild defense that is allowing 3.2 goals per game with Jonathan Marchessault, Riley Smith, and the rest of the forward unit establishing a strong offensive zone presence and finding open shots with great up movement in the offensive zone. The Wild, who averaged 3.67 goals per game, should run up the score with Kiro Kaprizov, Ryan Hartman, Kevin Fila, and the rest of the forward unit crashing the net on the odd man rush and creating open shots with great puck movement in the offensive zone. Both teams have been performing well on offense recently. Vegas ranks 14th in goals per game and 8th in shots per game and they have scored 3 goals or more in 5 out of their last 9 games. Jonathan Marchessault leads the Knights with 48 points. Minnesota scored 3 goals or more in 7 out of the last 9 games. They rank 3rd in goals per game and 12th in shots per game. Kiro Kaprizov leads the team with 76 points and he is top 10 in points in the league. Matt Sakerlo has one point or more in eight out of the last 10 games. While Minnesota has been very good offensively, they have struggled on defense and they are not receiving good goaltending. They rank 22nd in goals against per game and 18th in shots against per game. With both teams hot on offense, this will be a higher scoring game. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. Edmonton Oilers vs. Colorado Avalanche The Edmonton Oilers will be going for their sixth consecutive win when they face the Colorado Avalanche tonight. The Oilers are coming off a 6-3 win over New Jersey. The Avalanche are coming off a 5-3 win over San Jose. Edmonton is 6-3-1 in its last 10 games against Colorado. Edmonton is 5-0 in their last 5 games overall, and 4-9 in their last 13 games as an underdog, while the over is 4-1 in their last 5 games following a win. Colorado is 45 
34-8 in their last 52 home games and 40-11 in their last 51 games as a favorite while the under is 8-1-1 to to in their last 10 games against a team with a winning record. On the season, the Edmonton Oilers have a per-game scoring differential of 0.26 goals. Even when playing on the road, the team is winning games by an average margin of 0.29 goals. Heading into this game, the Edmonton Oilers are the winners of each of their last five games. During this stretch, they have scored 27 goals, accounting for 68% of the scoring in these contests. The key to this recent success is the fact that they have outscored their usual output of 3.37 goals per game five times. Even though the Oilers come into this matchup as the underdogs, I like them to pull off the upset over Colorado. I get the case that could be made either way here as Colorado's been dominant at home this season, but the Oilers are just as hot in their own right at the moment. The Edmonton Oilers to cover the spread as underdogs is our full game side pick. In Edmonton's 62 games, the over has hit in over half of their games, going 31 to 30 to 1. So far, the team has been less likely to go over the betting line when playing on the road going just 13 to 17 to 1. On the season, 65% of Edmonton's games have gone for at least six goals or more, with 54% of the scoring coming from the Oilers. In Colorado's 62 games, the over has hit in over half of their games, going 36 to 24 to 2. So far, taking the over when the Avalanche are playing at home has been a good bet with an over-under record of 17 to 12 to 1. On the season, 65% of Colorado's games have gone for at least six goals or more, with 57% of the scoring coming from the Avalanche. Both sides can flat out score, and both are prone to defensive lapses here and there, in a game that I could end up seeing as a 5 to 4 game whichever way you have it. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. Nashville Predators vs. Anaheim Ducks The Nashville Predators face the Anaheim Ducks in a matchup between two teams heading in opposite directions this season. The Predators have won 36 of their 62 games, while the Ducks have only won 27 of their 64 games, including only two of their last 10 games. The Predators are looking to make up ground in the Central Division and the Western Conference playoff picture, while the Ducks look to improve in the Pacific Division, and the upcoming game should be a good one as a result. The Predators are 16-7 in their last 23 games following a win, and 6-2 in their last 8 overall. The Ducks are 5-13 in their last 18 Monday games, and 0-6 in their last 6 overall. The over is 4-1 in Predators' last 5 overall. The under is 6-2 in Ducks' last 8 Monday games. The Predators are 9-4 in the last 13 meetings. These two teams are trending in completely opposite directions. The Ducks haven't been able to buy a win over the last two weeks, and I don't believe they'll have much luck against a quality opponent like the Predators. Nashville has been able to take some chances offensively due to strong goaltending by Saros and that's paid off for them. Being that their shooting percentage is 11.1%, as long as they can pepper John Gibson with shots, they should be able to notch at least three goals in this game. The Ducks' offense has been a low point for them this season and they're running into a brick wall in Juice Saros tonight. The Nashville Predators are playing some of their best hockey of the season, and they're doing a good job of stringing wins together as of late. The Anaheim Ducks have been ice cold these last couple of weeks and the offense simply isn't showing up. The Predators are simply the overall better team and they have a workhorse in net. Nashville is playing much better hockey as of late and will overwhelm a struggling Anaheim team. Look for the Nashville offense to roll against Anaheim as the Predators will extend the Anaheim losing streak Monday night. Even on the road, the Predators have to be the play here based on the form of both teams. So the Nashville Predators money line is our full game side pick. There are two strong goaltenders in this matchup with John Gibson getting the start for Anaheim and Juice Saros going for Nashville. The Ducks are well rested and their route to victory would be playing strong defense and taking advantage of any offensive opportunities they come across. Being that they have fresh legs in the defensive zone, they should be able to at least limit the Predators tonight. On the flip side, Juice Saros has been phenomenal this season where he's allowing just 2.5 goals per game. The Ducks' offense has only scored 1.8 goals per game over their last five outings, so I expect goals to be tough to come by for Anaheim. Look for a 3-2 or 3-1 game tonight. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyze. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.